Hi everyone, welcome back to this short tutorial on alpha glucosidase inhibitors from ILO Pharmacology. This alpha glucosidase inhibitors are the hypoglycemic agents which are used to reduce the blood sugar levels. What are the actions of alpha glucosidase inhibitor? They basically they act on the GI system where they delay or reduce the carbohydrate absorption from the intestine. So once they delay the carbohydrate absorption, the amount or the concentration of the glucose in circulation can be reduced. So we have an example uh, such as acarbose and megalitol uh, which belongs to alpha glucosidase inhibitors. So let us understand the mechanism of action. So alpha glucosidase inhibitors, they inhibit the intestinal enzymes such as alpha glucosidase and pancreatic alpha amylase. By inhibiting this alpha glucosidase, what happens means they prevent the breakdown of the starch. The alpha glucosidase is required for breakdown of the starch and oligosaccharide into a more easily absorbable form that is monosaccharides. By inhibiting the alpha glucosidase uh, activity, this acarbose will going to prevent the breakdown, faster breakdown of the starch and the oligosaccharides into the more absorbable monosaccharides. So more absorbable monosaccharides means more glucose will be uh, in the circulation if you are activating the alpha glucosidase. But now you are inhibiting the alpha, alpha glucosidase. The, the absorbable form that is monosaccharides will be released but it will be delayed and it, uh, it will be uh, released at the uh, ca ca uh, constant rate uh, along the time. So thereby you are reducing the breakdown that means you are reducing the rise of blood glucose levels in the body or in the circulation. So basically you reduce the rise in blood glucose following the meal. So alpha glucosidase inhibitors are very helpful in preventing the postprandial hyperglycemia. So these drugs are metabolized by GIT by bacteria as well as digestive enzymes and it has got a half life of 2 hours. So where they are useful, they are used in treatment of type 2 diabetes mellitus which are not controlled by other group of drugs and adverse effect profile very very important since it acts on the GIT, it uh, acts on the GI bacterial enzyme system, they are more prone for gastrointestinal discomfort especially the it can cause bloating sensation, it can cause flatulence which is the specific side effect of the alpha glucosidase inhibitor and also the patients will be more prone for diarrhea. So please remember alpha glucosidase inhibitor, the acarbose, A, A for A, alpha acarbose, they prevent or delay the degradation of the carbohydrates, thereby the concentration of the sugar levels in blood will not rise immediately. So it will be delayed. So the complication or the adverse effect of using alpha glucosidase is it causes GI related side effects such as bloating, that is the flatulence, etc. So this was about the alpha glucosidase inhibitor. Thank you.